we didn't really talk explicitly about screen use. Yeah. Is there, I mean, you talked about it a little bit in that study in Asia mm -hmm. where, but I don't know if that was specific to screen use or just could have been just as much reading. Or yeah, it was not specific. Toys. Yeah, it wasn't specific to screen use. So what and, do we know about phones specifically and computers? Yeah. So, you know, this is a, a super interesting, obviously, topic and, and uh, everything from people ask me about blue blocking glasses. They ask about, am I damaging my eyes? Am I going to get macular degeneration because I'm looking at a computer screen for 10 hours a day? I'll start with the easy ones. Uh, the amount of UV radiation coming off of screens is sufficiently low that there has been no evidence at all that it's going to cause macular degeneration um, in the same way that you can't get a sunburn from a screen. I mean, the amount of blue light that you get from going outside is many, many, many orders of magnitude greater than what you can get from screens. Um, but I do think that blue light can mess up your circadian rhythm. And you know, it's if you take someone and expose them to blue light at noon, that's great. If you expose them to that at 11 p.m. and then you try to go to sleep, that's messed up. And it's almost like we're running this gigantic experiment with humans where you know, think about like you, you have a turtle. Let's say you take a species of turtle that spends 90% of its time in the water, 10% on land, and we take that and flip it. Now it's 10% in the water. And then we look at these turtles and we think there's something weird going on with these turtles. Yes, they're surviving, but we're, we've got them in a very altered environment compared to what they were evolved to deal with. So giving people blue light from a screen that's bright at 10 PM, 11 PM, and then asking them to go to sleep is a problem. So, you know, I really try to there's limit. Not, it's not clear that it's damaging their eyes. It's not damaging their, their retinas or they're giving them cataracts, but I think it's messing up circadian rhythms. So, although it is hard to disentangle that from the total amount of light that they're seeing, which is also unnatural and what comes with it, which is the stimulation. Right, like you're it's, thinking. It, it's, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know. It, there seems to be a difference between watching TV and checking email before bed. Maybe none of them are, maybe neither are ideal, but one seems demonstrably worse, at least for me. Yeah, I think that's pretty universal. People feel that way, that passive watching a TV is different than I'm going to, I wonder where Winston Churchill is buried. You know, you go down some wormhole and you're just, you know, you're just seeking information that, takes you on these journeys. But um, one thing I do, I do have software embedded in all of my uh, PCs that changes the color temperature. Like through. Flux or something. I like love that. Flux. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, and Flux is free, by the way, I think for end users. And it, it will take the blue light sequentially out of your monitor as the day goes on, as the evening goes on to yeah. the point that it's like super amber uh, as you get ready to go to bed. I, I really think that's great.